Okay, so I was just in Walmart. I had to get a few things, very few because I can't stand for very long still. And um, I was walking through the meat department to get Anthony's hamburgers. And some random guy decides to come right up to General and start petting him. And whenever I, of course, you know, told General no and I beeped at him with his e collar, the guy was offended that I did not want him to pet my dog. He's like, well, I'm just petting him. I was like, you petting him could cause him to be distracted. That could kill someone with a service dog. Like, I have respiratory issues. What if I started going into respiratory distress? But he's distracted by some random guy coming up and giving him pets. And he's like, well, I didn't know. Well, let me show the vest that General was wearing. Alrighty. Clearly says, stop service dog do not pet us ignore us service dog stop distractions violate state law okay so what about that vest is confusing for one uh, i thought it was pretty well planned out uh, pretty straightforward tells you to leave the dog alone but apparently it's not clear enough for people who don't want to think clearly so yes and this is another reason why i have a body camera on me now i don't go into stores without recording what's going on around me and no it's not with my phone i have an actual body camera so if after that guy had pet general and distracted him and i ended up going into respiratory distress i'd have visual proof of why my dog wasn't able to catch it which would then be able to be taken to court because uh, apparently until some people are taken to court they are never going to get it so there's my body camera so uh yeah uh gotta love going into walmart otherwise known in the service dog community as Hellmart because of the fact that people won't leave you alone, feel entitled to pet your dog and take their pet dogs with them. And, uh, yeah, it just, good Lord. I may have to put my mask back on. Uh, General uh, acquired enough of the fabric softener by going down the laundry detergent aisle that it's noticeable for me may not be noticeable for other people but it's noticeable for me so i'm going to put my mask back on and i'm going to have to go home and give general a bath which he's going to love but yeah um when you see a service dog out in public leave it alone and you can't plead ignorance whenever it flatly tells you it's a service dog on the vest which by the way a real service dog does not need a vest you can tell by their behavior but whenever they're clearly labeled and it spells out for you that distracting the doll, dog is against the law, you cannot plead ignorance at that point. So, anyway, there's my rant for the day.